This short video aims to assist you, the researcher, in applying an educational entrepreneurial approach to action research in your inquiry. This methodology is an approach that seeks to guide practitioner researchers as they embrace technology or curriculum design for the use of technology in order to create innovative artifacts that improve their workplace. There are four key stages to this approach. At the beginning of the research process, it's important to explore what your educational values are. Explore your passion for education. What is it that motivates and inspires you in your work? These values will act as guiding principles throughout the whole research process and will shape the direction of the research and the actions that you take. At the same time, you also need to explore your work culture. You need to ask yourself the following questions. What is the culture or e-culture? Who are the champions? Are the communication channels open to change? And what changes could be made to improve practice? Explore the literature and policies that shed light on your research area and what it is that you want to highlight in this area. At all stages of the research process, you will be documenting your thoughts, ideas, experiences and insights in your reflective journals. Your reflective journal is an important source of data and evidence for your study. Now you need to understand how your talent and skills can help to improve your workplace in a practical way. Have you developed digital, multimedia or other creative skills that can enhance your practice? Do you feel motivated and passionate enough to make it work? Do you understand the commitment that is needed from you to design a quality artefact? Do you understand how the literature connects with your study? How you can draw upon it and develop it further to enhance your research? Do you understand what has been done before in this area? Do you understand the culture in which you are seeking to implement change? Have you listened to everyone's perspectives and their potential concerns? Once you have explored and understood what is needed from you to make this happen, it is now time to engage the imagination and creativity and design an innovative artefact. Establish a vision for your design and demonstrate originality and ingenuity in your creation. Decide what type of multimedia or platform is best suited to deliver your message. Be confident taking risks in order to move your creation forward. An imperative factor in this stage is performance. That is presenting your research at various stages to your peers. This involves making use of all the communication channels available and being open to honest feedback to ensure that a quality artifact and quality research is produced. Use online forums and social validation meetings to strengthen and refine your study and to ensure that it is rigorous. Be open to collaboration and co-creating knowledge with others through this process of inquiry. The final step involves showing transformation. Have you created a video production, some sort of multimedia artefact or an innovative curriculum? What has been the impact of this research? For example, let's begin with the personal impact. Have you developed new skills as a result? If so, which skills? Have you developed a sense of well-being from this study? 
Has this study contributed to your own personal development? What has been the impact on your culture? Have you made a difference in the workplace? Has your research impacted on the wider society? What does the evidence suggest? Have you adhered to your values throughout the process? And has your creation improved your workplace practice?